like fall and I like trees, but I'm not a big fan of raking leaves. So I've come up with three different techniques that I think beat them all. And I'm gonna show them to you now. I've tried mulching leaves and blowing leaves into a corner and then picking them up. The problem is, how do you pick them up? Well, I think the tarp method is the best. And if you can't throw them over the fence like I can, I've got some claws that I made to help you pick up the leaves that quickly and bag them up ready to go. I'll post up there somewhere how to make these, how to make the tool tote so that you don't have to bend over and rake these like this. You just pick it up like this. Simplifies it immensely. In making the little tie downs for the tarp are simple and easy. You can get these two for about a buck. And I've got two different versions of those that I'll show you. But they stick in the ground pretty easy to hold the tarp in place so you can rake all the leaves in no time. Let's go to a top-down shot and I'll show you some of the details here. Let's talk a little bit about the tool toggle. Fully adjustable, you can bring it down. I also use this on snow shovels. Certainly worth taking a look at. You just wrap it around and then this is fully adjustable. The one I show in the video on how to make it, I actually have a thing in here so you can do it with gloves. This one's a slightly different version. We just kind of pull it like this without gloves. Pull that tight. The friction around the PVC pipe is where the magic is. I've never seen anything like this anywhere, and I use it for all sorts of designs. So you can shorten it up and customize it to any length that you want. So that's pretty neat. <clears throat> These leaf grabbers are just made out of a five gallon bucket and lid and some PVC pipe. Again, fully adjustable. You can change the angles. Customize it any way you want. Works great. I actually haven't glued these together. I just screwed them in place so that I can make minor adjustments as I use them more and more and customize it more and more for me or whoever else is going to use these things. So much better than anything you can buy. And you can make these for a couple bucks. This shovel or rake or any kind of tool toggle, maybe 50 cents to a dollar depending on how much you pay for the paracord. You could probably buy something for way too much money, but I'll show you how to make these a little later in the video. But basically what you got here is a six inch bolt. You can use a five inch, four inch bolt, two different designs. This one actually uses a foam golf ball, but you want to make sure this is nice and tight and flush. So when you rake the leaves, they go onto the tarp, just like that. And this is with my hands. Can you imagine if you use a big rake? I really find this helpful. It really kind of changes it around a good bit and you can just adjust it on the fly and give you unlimited options when it comes to holding the rake. You don't have to bend down. Switch hands. So you fill your tarp up. Another great thing with having four of these is once you've got an area cleared, just tack it off and hit it from another direction, like this. Depending on who you are and what kind of shape you are in, you don't need a big tarp like this. You can go with half the size, use this configuration, and still get the job done. I know what you might be thinking. Hey! Leaf blowers, so much faster and easier than raking. I've done this for about 15 years and tried like heck to use the leaf blower. If the leaves are anywhere embedded in grass or wet, you got a snowball's chance of heck of using the leaf blower in the same amount of time to cover the same amount of square footage that you can with a simple rake with the tool toggle. I challenge any commercial leaf claws 
to pick up as many leaves as this guy can. And then tamp them down. <laughs> These things are absolutely great and pretty much indestructible. Say nothing about how much fun they are to use. The claws! And once your tarp is completely full, pull out the spikes, put them to the side, by the way, make them a bright color so you can find them. They don't get buried in the leaves or on the ground. Pull the corners. Leaves are a high volume thing. But they won't weigh too much. Lift it up and in my case, pitch it over the fence. Over the years, I turn these over and break them down so they make excellent mulch or a base for your garden. Fantastic, good stuff. Don't throw these away if you don't have to. Then it's just a matter of taking your tarp, repositioning it, stick the spikes in the ground. I usually do the corners first, hold it taut. Maybe one here. One here, and you're good to go. You'll have this whole space leaf free in no time. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to make these tarp spikes. Real easy and real cheap to do. These are just foam punting balls, and these are just containers, vitamin containers. This has a lockout top on it, this doesn't. This is a carriage bolt that I actually just put another nut on as a lock washer. And two of these washers, one quarter, one quarter inch on either side. Put it on the top like this. Now you don't want it to blend in at all. So I just took some red duct tape, ran a loop around there so it's real easy to find. I was having a little bit of trouble with this nut coming off. You can certainly use nylon lock nuts here. This has one of those washers right here and just another smaller washer right here. My kids think I should put a face on here to just make them a little more fun, so we'll do that. Like that, because he's happy to be helping out with the yard. I tried all sorts of different lengths. This is a four and a half inch long, quarter inch bolt. This is a five, five and a half. Right around five seems to be the sweet spot. Took a cable tie and ran it around here and tied it off and it hasn't been a problem whatsoever. Push the bolt itself in there, twist it around a little bit. It will come out the other side. Sometimes it's a little hard to hold on to this and push that in there like that. And then I'm just using these washered wing nuts. I'm a big fan of these. One quarter inch 20. Roll one of those guys on there. Just tighten it down. And then that way it gives you a nice little handle to push in the ground and pull out. A little easier to hold on to. And you just got it right there and you're never going to lose it because it's connected to the tarp and he's happy about that thumbs up and comments always appreciate thanks for watching if you're interested in all kind of designs make it and break and stuff I do evaluations of sports gear I make photography equipment and <laughs> pretty much anything I also do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know. What crazy designs you might see.